Bristol Community College Bayhawks versus Northern Essex Community College. The Bayhawks basketball, I'm David Cardoza. I'm alongside here with Craig Salvador as a 9-0 Bayhawks coming here and um, on a hot streak. Starting off the season, nine straight wins going against the Northern Essex Knights. BCC on a roll with a huge win the other night against uh, Ben Franklin Institute, Craig. Yep, that they were. Looking to keep this up, going for 10 straight wins on the season on the verge of an undefeated season. They keep this up. No doubt about it. So we're going to keep it here on FR Media. I'm David Cardoza along with Craig Salvador.
Who takes the worst pictures? I know. I always just like yep. my mouth open or something. It's like horrible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, FR Media presents the NJCAA and Bayhawks basketball. Uh, this is David Cardoza. Alongside me is the Portuguese cowboy, Mr. Craig Salvador. And I want to welcome everybody to La France Gymnasium here at Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts. We're getting ready for the tip-off with the undefeated Bayhawks. Joshua Winbush and the Bayhawks win the tip. Bayhawks looking for their second win this week at home. Damian Martin with the ball in the corner, back out. That's going to go off Vegas' foot. Interesting stuff. Craig, how you doing? I am doing good. It has what been a, a day. day. It what has a been day. a day. This has been the day from hell. But anyways, it's going to be a good night. Bayhawks coming here 9-0. 9-0 and 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 overall, 9-0 and in Region 21 as they come off a big win against ben Benjamin Franklin Institute. Josh Winbush with the steal. Off to his old high school teammate, Damian Martin, with the basketball right there, number two. Yep, Damian Martin starting the game at point guard. Yep. Driving baseline, losing it out of bounds. Going to be Zachary Vega, and that's two turnovers on two possessions for the Bayhawks. Northern Essex, not too shabby. They are 6-2. They are 6-2 in regional play, 8-3 overall. So I was talking to Coach Rob Dale Liu after the, after the Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology game. Try saying that 10 times fast. And he said this is going to be a challenge here tonight. Northern Essex was a good team. They've been a good team for the last couple of years in Region 21. And they're out to a good start this year, 8-3 overall. It's going to be a challenge for BCC. Oh, Damian Martin got a steal, but I think they're calling a foul on him. That foul on Damian Martin, you remember last game, I believe he had two or three real quick fouls on him. We, uh, he missed, ended up missing most of the first half because he was already starting to get in foul trouble. Yeah, and he's like a super, he's like a super charger. And that, that's a steal by Damian Martin. Gives it to his old high school teammate with a short hook. Comes up short. Off and running. Here come the Knights. This is some sloppy play to begin with. Three-point shot off the, off the glass. Rebounded by Damian Martin. Up ahead to the Pope. Lays it in. Nice look by Damian Martin. Keeping his eyes up court. Pope lays it in. Puts BCC on the board. Two zip. With the basketball right now, DJ Gronhal. Cardona gets into the lane. He's going to get fouled. Foul's going to be on Corey Green on the drive. Foul actually goes to Damian Martin, already his second. And just like the other night, Craig, like you were saying, Damian, Damian Martin getting off to a getting off to a tough start as far as far as fouls are concerned. To me a travel. Emir Elagos from Istanbul, Turkey. You talked about the Bayhawks on Coach Rob Del uh, Coach Rob Delu really going out to get people. This North uh, Northern Exodus team has two players from Istanbul, Turkey. And, and of course, Rob Delu went on and recruited Hakan Adakoban, six foot six. The lob it in to Winbush. The pass from Corey Green. Nice look. And. You feel like Josh Wimbush could do that all day, and I feel like we say that every game. Driving into the lane on Wimbush, trying to alter that shot, but going in was Amir Elagos with the, with the lay-in. He went in there fearless, too. They did, Josh Wimbush. Looked like he got a piece of it, couldn't get anything Wimbush, on it, Wimbush, rainbow jumper from the elbow. Josh Wimbush showing his repertoire. Six to two. BCC with the lead here, the early going. DJ going to the lane between two defenders. Nice effort there, but couldn't get it to go, obviously. Martin all the way to the hole, close to coast. 
Look at Damian Martin running through everybody. Damian Martin going there like Swiss cheese. Three point shot, way off the mark by Estrella. Rebounded Ma again by Martin. He's getting a surprising amount of rebounds. Yeah, no kidding. Going back the other way as Ella goes from Turkey. Three point shot, way off the mark, wide left. Martin with another rebound. Rebound, look at the pass to, the Nola pass to Winbush. Get a timeout, Knights. 10 to two. I feel like tonight's gonna be a big night for Josh Winbush and Damian Martin, the two former high school teammates from Louisiana. You can see the chemistry between those two. Yep, Damian Martin already with four rebounds and three assists in this game. Josh Winbush with six points right now out of the 10 for the Bayhawks. Could be the night for the Winbush. Could be the night for the uh, for the Louisiana duo there. 16.46 to play, 10 to two. Bayhawks lead it. We'll be back after this. Welcome back, everybody, to La France Gymnasium. Bishop Connolly High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Home of the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Bayhawks have the lead 10-2. Bayhawks in man-to-man. -man. Northern Essex come out of the timeout with the basketball. That ball almost thrown out of bounds. And that ball's going to be laid in by Adam Goldstein over Zachary Vega, 10-4. Corey Green with the basketball. We see Marcus Mitchell in for Damian Martin. Martin had uh, two quick fouls to start the game. Oh, that was an errant pass. Errant pass by Corey Green. And that's too bad because when Damian Martin was in there, he was like the engine. He can really push the basketball up court. He's got good court vision, good court awareness. With the basketball right now is Amir Elagos being guarded closely by number 13, the Pope. That ball stolen. Corey Green getting the pass to lane. Two on one. Oh, going up for the jam. Another missed jam by Zachary Vega. To be fair, he did get blocked on that one. <laughs> yeah, he did, he did get challenged on that one, but going for the dunk. One thing about Zachary Vega, he does go to the hole strong. And he'll step up to the line. Corey Green once again donning his number 15 after he wore number 11 briefly last game. Got a little, got a little bloody, had that, some color. That he did. Vega misses the first free throw. Second free throw, no good. Rebounding off the, off the, re off the missed free throw was Winbush. He's got eight. He's got eight of the 12 points for BCC. That ball's going to go off number 44. Gooney. Kalitta. Good attempt, good attempt. <laughs> Kalitta Seal Glue. Kalitta Seal Glue. Good try. How about just glue? He's gonna, he's gonna have to be one of our nickname guys. They'll dump it in. Winbush from the pass from Pope. Who's getting back? No one back there. And landed in easy. Kyle Martin, BCC failing to get back on defense. BCC seemed to be in stall mode. Northern Essex seems to have no one that um, can match in height against BCC. Okay. Green from his favorite spot, can't get it to go. Tipped, but then rebounded by Northern Essex. That's a deep three by Scott, way off. Northern Essex shooting some horrible shots. Mitchell pushing. Oh, nice pass, a pump to Vega. Rebounded by Ruin Bush, he'll get fouled. It goes in.
And Wimbush going to the line to try to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. And Josh Wimbush already has 12 points right now. I was just, just going to say that. He's got 12 of the 16 points, looking to make it 13. And he does just that. 17 to 6. BCC once again with that full court press. Drives some teams crazy. Mitchell's on Scott Hart. Yeah, he was. Leaning, leaning one hand to no good. Green looking up to Wimbush. Nice pass to a cutting Pope. Pope was running the floor hard. Wimbush cut the long pass from Green. Heaved it off to Pope. Laid it in. Pretty play. BCC with some textbook fast breaks here. They are just good fundamentals, good passing, good scoring, finding open, finding the open man. They are just doing. They are just playing good basketball right now. They are playing some very, very good basketball. They're coming out the gate quick, looking for win number ten. BCC coming into tonight's contest, or actually coming into this week, ranked 16th in the country now, Craig. They didn't start off the season ranked. But they are 16th in the whole country right now, so they are right. They are right up there, one of the best teams in NJCAA Division Three. Them and Bunker Hill. Oh, oh, who is on Pope? Yeah, nobody was on Pope. Pope will score easily with the pass from Mitchell. 21 to seven. Pope's starting to put up numbers early on. Yes, he is. Motion offense from, from the Knights. BCC sticks with their man-to-man -man game plan. And, oh, and how was that not a travel? Over. Green up to Vega. Still. Another missed dunk. And we got to see how Ooh, Vega is because he took a gracious. hard bump. Yeah, that was a hard bump. You don't want to see that. Vega, one of the team's leading scorers, had 17 last game, 17 points and eight rebounds. Anytime you see a guy land on his tailbone, that's a, that's a stinger. Not good to hurt your lower back. Hopefully he can uh, he's gonna, take this one off. He's going to take his shots, but I imagine that he's probably going to be taking a break for a little bit. I'd get him on, I'd get him on the game, maybe ice that a little bit before he gets too stiff. But he appears to be appears to be okay. Rob Delu eyeing him, seeing how he is. And so far, no one coming into the game, so Zachary Vega might power through this. You know... Zachary Vegas, I mean, he's he's a heck of a player. But boy, he's missed a lot of dunks in the last two games. <laughs> <laughs> How many dunks are you going to miss? Bro, Just lay it in, bro. Won't be mad at you. They're probably giving him crap in the locker room. Oh, yeah. Another turnover. They tried to get it from Corey Green, but he breaks away. Green with a nice bounce pass. Great ball movement. Green from the top. That rolls out. Windbush, easy rebound. Strong move to the hole and puts it back in. Back in. Oh, did you just see what happened? No. That was lucky from Northern Exes. They inbounded the ball. It went right off the back of Adam Goldstein. He was not paying attention. And it got lucky that it was able to get to Amir Algarad. Adam Goldstein. Another, another miss from the outside by, by Northern Essex. Go Going pass. to the hole. <laughs> this is... With he's gonna, he's ease, gonna, Josh gonna, Winbush. He's going to put up 40 tonight. And a good full court pass. I didn't see who threw it, but it was a great job finding Josh Winbush open. Sometimes it's just so quick. You look, you look down for a second, BCC's getting a turnover. And scoring on the other end. Driving to the hole is... That's Aguilas, there's Goldstein. Another block by Winbush. Zach, Zachary Vega. Vega with the hustle up to Mitchell. Bruce tailbone and all. Mitchell doesn't have the numbers. Goes strong. Puts it up with the glass and in. I think they're saying no shot. How could that not be no shot? He simultaneously got fouled. Put it up off the glass. And Steven Torres coming in. Zachary Vega going to take a well-deserved breather. And I believe that's the first substitution for BCC. Uh, no, we had, uh, we had M Mitchell come in for... Uh, Damian Martin to start because Martin had the two quick fouls. Okay, way to keep me in check there, Craig. Hey, you had Corey me. Green deep from the top for three. No good. Corey Green missing, missing a couple from out there. 
Driving to the driving to the hole all the way, lays it in, and the foul. Foul's gonna be on Corey Green. Point scored by Emir Elagos from Istanbul, Turkey. Six foot two freshman with a strong take to the basket. And Corey Green. I believe it was cool. Was it Corey Green with the foul? It was uh, no, Stephen Stone, Torres. Stephen Torres. I thought it was Green. Yeah, both teams now match five fouls apiece. Free throw miss. Four fouls, I should say. Free throw missed by Alagos. Northern Essex in zone, in a 2-3 zone. 1-2-2 one, one, two, two offense. Wimbush back out. It's a nice pass Mitchell from Wimbush. Mitchell for three, no good. Corey Green always getting his hands on the ball. There's an offensive foul. They're going to call that on Robert Quinlan. Right, is that 2-2? Two, two? Yeah, they're going to call it on yep. Quinlan. With the offensive foul, 26-9. Wow. This game really started, uh, well, looked like it might have been a back and forth game. Really starting to yeah, get off its hinges. Yeah, we said that about this last game. BCC might let you hang around for a little bit. Then they smash you. Marcus Mitchell with the basketball. Mitchell. Steven Torres for three. No good. See some new players in the game. See Juan Espinal and Caleb, Caleb Provitt. Yeah, coming into this game early. Driving, getting to the teeth of the defense. They're going to call a foul on the floor. Let's see who that's on. It's going to be on. It's going to be on Caleb Provitt. Coming out of the game, Josh Winbush, he's going to get a breather. Hakan Adakaban, also from Turkey. So we get a few players from Turkey on this same court here today, tonight. If you're just joining us, everybody, this is Bayhawks basketball, Bristol Community College, up 26 to 9 over Northern Essex right now, the Knights. I'm David Cadoza, alongside me is Craig Salvador. From, Com from Bishop Conley. They were going to say from Compton. <laughs> nice crossover. Getting into the lane. Floater is good. By number three, Eddie Cardona. Mitchell looks up, gets to Torres. Back to Mitchell. Deep three. Bounces up. No good. Rebound by Juan Espinol. Tried to kick it back up, but it got stolen. Cardona, free throw from the free throw line. No good. Rebounded by Coban. BCC always looking to push. He's got profit all day. Delu. Profit for three. No good. Right there is Juan Espinal. Puts it up and in. He gets fouled. And Juan Espinal will go to the free throw line to try to complete the three-point play. And we've seen Juan Espinal, Craig, in, the, in these games. And we've seen him come in at different periods, mostly at the end of games when BCC is blowing the other team out lately, coming in and, you know, scoring in bunches. Hey, if you remember last game, he came in in the last five minutes. He almost got a double-double in the last five minutes of the <laughs> game. He had scored about eight points and gotten about six assists in the last, not six assists, six rebounds in about the last five minutes of the game. And you remember, he came in last year in the second half of the season and was starting. Yeah, we, we came in one day after the winter break. We came in and was like, hey, who's this guy? And he just started putting up buckets. And we're exactly. like, okay, we'll have him. He's definitely, he's definitely got the ability. He's out there right now, 29-11. to 11. 18 on the shot clock, steal by Coban. Coban trying to get out to the races, going to the hole, puts it up, no good. Juan Espinosa is there. He can't connect. He can't make the basket. Swing it to the wing for three, no good. Northern Essex Cole from outside. Cardona, free throw line, gets it down underneath, reverse lay in, is good. By Gooney. The guy can't pronounce his last name, <laughs> I won't, so I won't even try. It's that kind of day. They'll just be one of those guys who's always just known by their first name. Yeah. Gee. 
from the Cock School in Istanbul, Turkey. Oh, that's when all got stolen. Yeah, stolen by Estrella. Here comes Blue. The Knights, that's a deep three by Cardona. Oh, almost got oh, it. They cannot buy a bucket from the outside. In the lane, rebounding the basketball is Trey Sanford. Number 13, Quincy Pope coming into the game with number 15, Corey Green, and number two, Damian Martin back in the game. Marcus Mitchell, Caleb Provitt, and Juan Espinol will check out. So a new, new looking group in there for the Bayhawks. Cardona loses the handle on it, goes out of bounds. It's going to stay Northern Essex basketball. Got knocked out of bounds. Martin does a really good job of stealing the basketball, though. He does, and he's just such a like a he's like a, such a burst of energy when he gets in there. He's such a he can he pushes the basketball, and he's just like he's just like lightning. His head, his head, his eyes are always looking up court too. So he's got great court vision. We've seen him make you know cross court plays like we've seen him earlier in this game. Yeah, I've seen. I played with a lot of guys who dribble with their head down in the day. They don't see they don't see you. They don't see the big guy streaking down the floor. Gotta keep your head up. Inbound to the basketball is Estrella. Gets it in the corner. Driving to the basket, reverse lay in is Cardona. From Estrella. Well the next is going on a little bit of a run here. Yeah, 29 to 15. They get it in. Coban goes up, and he gets it blocked. I believe Goldstein blocked that. Going into the lane. Wild shot, no good. Up ahead, Pope. It's hard coverage right now, double teaming Martin. Yeah. Nice passing with BCC. Coban, that goes off the side of the backboard. Three on one. Steven Torres is somehow getting a hand on that. Yeah. Quincy Pope with the steal. Way to get back on defense. Corey Green goes back the other way, lays it up and in. Beautiful. <laughs> Referee's going to call a timeout. And Coban is hurt on the other end. Josh Wimbush coming in for him. Yeah, he looks like he was, I, I thought he was favoring his back. Now it looks like he's limping off the court. BCC trainer going to come over there and check him out. On that last play, I want to give credit to Steven Torres. He was the one guy down there on defense, managed to get a hand on it and give it enough time for Quincy Pope to come in with the steal. Yeah, because Northern Essex had the numbers. Next thing you know, BCC got back on defense. Oh, what a nice crossover by Cardona. Scoops it up and in. Beautiful move. What a move by Cardona, the crossover, and then the up and under. Green going baseline, kicks it back out. Martin with the basketball. 13 on the shot clock. Martin taking his time with it. Got to shoot it. Three-pointer by Martin, no good. And Northern Essex with the save right back into the hands of the Bayhawks. Martin with the floater, no good. Got his own rebound. Corey Green dumps it up to Winbush, turns around and lays it in. What a flurry. What, about, what, about, what the heck was going on there? Definitely interesting sequence of events. Oh, Bayhawks, yeah, they just, they just fly to the basketball. 33 to 17. Coming up on seven minutes to play here in the first half. The fake going to the basket. Oh, that would have been a, that would have been a lovely take to the basket there by Greenhall. Martin drives baseline. To the free throw line, Winbush, no good. Off the rim. Here come the Knights, pushing. Cardona, God, he's got a second gear. Estrella with the fake, puts it up off the glass, rolls in. Alex Estrella from Lawrence, Mass, went to Greater Lawrence Tech. He's a freshman. Some that really got into the Knights, they're all shifting into second gear right now, playing yeah, very fast-paced basketball. They definitely are. Torres for three, bang! Torres hits from three, ends that run. 
Looks like Northern Essex was getting a little bit of momentum trying to crawl back into this thing, but Torres ends any sight of that for the time being. Cardona with a left hand. Looks like a foul on Quincy Pope. Cardona is a slick lefty. That's only one on Pope. Quincy Pope usually doesn't get into too much foul trouble. Good defender. Uses his feet well. Not a, not a guy that you see too many times in foul trouble or foul out of game. Eddie Cardona is a slick player. He's got some slick handle. And he's a south, he's a southpaw. Got that quick left hand dribble, man. He got that crossover dribble. He, hail, he hails from Haverhill, Mass. Six foot tall. Second free throw is no good. He missed, he hit the first one. Winbush with the rebound. Martin at the point. Kicks it back out in the corner. Vega cross court to Pope. Vega from three. It's good. Zachary Vega. 39 to 20. And just like that, BCC hits a couple threes. They're up 19. Driving all the way to his left. And I think he's going to be fouled. They might call that on Martin. And yep. they do. That's just going to be his third. And Marcus Mitchell's going to come in right now. Marcus Mitchell right there, number 30, with the flat top. Bringing it back. Way back. Number five at the line, Emir Elagos. Went to Edison Acad Academics. Academics, I'm sorry. Edison Academics in Istanbul, Turkey. And we got three guys um, in this game from Istanbul, Turkey. None of them went to the same high school. I wonder if those are all in, like, the same vicinity. Hmm. Yeah, cause I, I don't know what the I geography of Istanbul is. So. Yeah, <laughs> neither, neither do I. Never been. It's taking a long time. It's taking a long time for him to get his second foul shot. But now he gets the attempt. Well, he misses at Josh Wimbush with a rebound, though. Just went way out of Mitchell's way, though. Mitchell could not get it, so it's a turnover yeah, quickly. North Texas ball, ball over. again. Cardona trying to do something with the basketball. Couldn't do it. Pope with the steal. Green lays it in. Green is so fast, but he has the body mechanics, the body... This is uh, body control to slow himself down. Just enough to lay that in off the glass with ease. BCC just has a lot of athletic, skilled players. BCC eight fouls with five to remain in the half. Quincy Pope gets a second. Yeah, so the uh, the Knights will be at one -on -one, in a one on one situation in a in a shooting free throw situation from here on out in the first half. Quincy Pope will go out. Stephen Torres in. Second free throw was made by Alagaz. Stephen Torres just into the game. Green lobs it into Winbush. He's going to get fouled. It's one thing about having a six foot seven guy in your team that is as long as Joshua Winbush. You can just throw that ball. You can just lob that ball up into him. And he'll jump up and get it. Especially with the lack of height that Northern Essex has. I mean, they have a couple guys like Adam Goldstein, six four, Robert Quinlan, in and out of the lineup. He's six four. But other than that. Everybody else under 6'4", 6'3". Six, six, well, DJ Greenhouse, 6'5". But nobody can match the length that Winbush has. And Winbush makes both of them. Winbush, the leading scorer in this game right now. 
Nice pass to Estrella. The way off, the three-pointer way off by Estrella, rebounded by Winbush. And now Vega with the basketball. Vega in the corner, Corey Green for three! The Green Machine! He almost gets a steal right on the other end. Corey Green just has a beautiful shot. Nice block there. Driving to the hole was Estrella. And Zachary Vega just says, nope, get that weak stuff out of here. Yeah, it looked like he blocked that with his left hand, too. Inbounding from his own, underneath his own basket was Ella Guz. Only 18 on the shot clock, three-pointer, way off. God, they are building a house with so many bricks, building a big brick house here. Talking about the Knights. Mitchell for three. No good. Rebounded by Estrella. Really, both teams haven't had the best uh, three-point shooting performance. Uh, BCC performance a little bit better. A little bit. And there's a lay-in off the miss. Off the miss by Ella Gauz. Adam Goldstein gets the rebound. Coach Del Luke getting upset, he goes upset on that one. Guy's not boxing out, but I mean, three point play completed by Goldstein. BCC up 20. They'll lob it in win to Winbush. Back around the perimeter. Mitchell with the pass. I don't think Winbush was expecting a pass yeah, on the play. Yeah, he couldn't hold on to it. It wasn't the best pass, though, but that ball goes out of bounds. Juan has been all in for Steven Torres. Oh, Corey, Corey Green Corey gets Green. the steal. Green, all by himself, lays it in. Splits the defenders and lays it in. Impressive by Corey Green, CG. He just comes out of nowhere, and you never know when he's going to steal the ball, and he can evade defenders whenever he goes to the rim. That he does. He's got the Kyrie or the IT effect. I mean, Corey Green does a, such a good job of anticipating the pass, getting into the passing lanes. Always hands on the ball. Forcing a steal. Making something happen. Corey Green always active defensively. You gotta love that. BCC has a few guys like that. And Amir Alagaz hits the first free throw. Goes two for two, still a 20 point game, three minutes remaining. Yes, sir. Malcolm Mitchell, I mean, Marcus Mitchell. We were talking about Malcolm Mitchell earlier. Yeah, we were. Swinging it to Corey Green. Good ball movement by the Bayhawks. Three point shot by Corey Green, drains it home. Now the, and he's pumped about it. Now the Green Rangers starting to heat up from outside the arc. Corey Green. That's what I was talking about. 51 to 28. Corey Green's time to get off. Falling back, three point shot, another miss. Another miss by the Knights. Espinal with the basketball up top. Essex in zone. Driving and kicking back out to, to Mitchell. Shot clock winding down. Espinola finds a cutting. Vega can't get it in. Be Green with the loose ball gets it and drives it home. Corey Green racking him up. He's got points on the last three possessions for BCC. He's one of the leading scorers for a reason. Three point shot by Estrella, another miss. They have not hit from the from the oh, from behind the arc. Estrella going to the basket, lays it in, and gets the contact. Gets the foul. Estrella goes to the line. Has Northern Essex hit one shot from from behind the perimeter? I don't think they have. If they have, it's very if minimal. Have, it's at least if, one. If they have, they might have one. Wind 
one out of very many. Marcus couldn't connect on the free throw, couldn't complete the three point play the old fashioned way. BCC with the basketball. They'll dump it in, and he's going to get pushed. They're going to call Estrella with a push on the big man. That was kind of like the Gronk effect. That was like Josh Winbush is like Gronk right now, <laughs> getting hacked out there. That's the only way you're going to stop him, pushing him in the back. But now you send him to the free throw line. Yeah, let's just hope he doesn't have the Gronk reaction. <laughs> I think Rob Del Lue would have a conniption fit if that happened. <laughs> So BCC off to a fast start in this game, in the season, 9-0. They play at Quincy College at 1 p.m. on Saturday. Waiting for the big showdown, Craig. If they can stay undefeated, it'll be a big showdown against Bunker Hill. We'll be here for a doubleheader next Tuesday here at Conley. Yeah, definitely going to be looking forward to that. As you said, two of the best teams in the country right now. Two of the best teams in the country, two of the best teams in... Definitely in Region 21. And Espinel is going to travel. Quick step and travel. And Bunker Hill actually has a loss on the, um, on the young season. Bayhawks have none, but still nonetheless, Bunker Hill has come, came into this season the 11th ranked team in the country. BCC's climbed its way to 16, as we were saying earlier. Driving to the lane. Ball. Yeah, loose ball. Coming up with it is Mitchell. Three on two. Going up with it is Vega gets blocked. Green, thought about three. Shoot, jump some, shoot some of the elbow, no good. Going all the way to the basket. How are they getting all these three point chance opportunities? Adam Goldstein was back there all by himself, lays it in, gets the contact. I believe they called that on Espinol. Yeah, that's the first foul for the number one. One for number one. That's 10 team fouls uh, for BCC. Free throws made, 53 to 33. <laughs> 26 left on the game clock, 20 on the shot clock. Mitchell being guarded. Was being guarded by Gooney. BCC trying to hold for what most likely will be the last shot. Vega in the corner. Kicks across court. Espinol, quick release. Looks like he had it tipped. That's a buzzer, no good. Okay, weird sequence there at the end, but nonetheless. BCC has the lead over Northern Essex right now. 53 to 33. It's halftime here at Bishop Conley. And uh, we're going to take a break here and come back with more sec with second half action of Bayhawks basketball here on FRC Media. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Bishop Conley High School. We're at the half. It's 53 to 33. Your Bristol Community College Bayhawks have the lead here in Fall River. The 9 0 Bayhawks looking to make it 10, Craig. And Craig, right now, BCC getting up to a big start. Josh Winbush had 12 of the first 16 points. And um, how many does he have now? We're he gonna... finished the first half with 21. Really uh, really did score all those during the first 15 minutes. Didn't see him scoring as much during the, you know, the last five. But again, 21 points in the first half, very impressive. You said in the beginning of the game that he's going to drop 40, and he is well on his way to doing that. Yeah, right? he's halfway there. And then really the reason he didn't uh, continue to score in the last five minutes, Corey Green really stepped up his game, scoring 14 points throughout it. And again, really those happening in the last five minutes. Corey Green being all over the place. Other things to look out for. Quincy Pope has five assists on the game. So, again, just a well-balanced team effort, and everyone's doing what you'd expect them to do. And BCC really asserting themselves defensively as, as they normally do, getting into the passing lanes, causing havoc, causing turnovers, and getting out and run the break. And that's what BCC does. When they're off and running, they turn defense into offense. And we'll look forward to see what they do here in the second half, 53-33. to 33. And we're going to get ready to... Uh, have some second half action here. The Knights come in here, six and two, and uh, eight and three. Eight and, th eight and three overall, six and two. 
in Region 21. Bayhawks have played all their games in conference in Region 21. They are 9-0 overall and 9-0 in the conference. So, Again, BCC this Saturday at Quincy College. And next Tuesday, a big showdown with Bunker Hill Community College, the Bulldogs. That gets an 8 p.m. start. It'll be a doubleheader. It'll be the women and men's team. Be checking that in your local listings here on Comcast, channel 95 in your dial. Corey Green cross court pass to Quincy Polk. Same starting five that started the game. Same five that started the game for the Bayhawks. Damian Martin kicks it back out. Green from the wing. Off the side of the rim. Martin comes away with it. Nice pass to Vega, gets it blocked. Another rebound by Martin, too. Northern Essex gets in their offense, driving to the hole, going up strong, and tip, tipped up. No rebound, and that's going to be a travel. It's BCC do get the ball in the end of that. Yeah, well, Cardona, too fast for his own good, took two steps before he put the ball on the floor. 20-point lead, but we have a whole half of basketball on a Thursday evening. With that previous rebound, Damian Martin is actually tied with Josh Winbush leading the game in rebounds. This is crazy. Martin back up to Green. Over to Pope. Pope with the air ball, or, or maybe he might want that to be a pass because it would be an assist to Winbush who has 23 now. Wimbush with the two, the putback. Oh, thinking about three, then darting in is Cardona. He's going to get fouled in the act of shooting, and he'll go to the line. That's going to be on Quincy Pope. I believe that's his third of the game. Yeah, it's funny. We were saying that he doesn't usually get into foul trouble. I don't think it's going to be on Quincy. Actually, it is. They haven't changed it yet. They signaled for it to be on Quincy Pope. Yeah. We'll go with that then. First free throw is missed. Second free throw was good by Cardona. With the basketball, D. Martin. Zone defense by the Knights. Martin <laughs> looked, was driving to the was driving to the basket, looked to kick it out to Green, but he kicked it out into the stands instead. Yeah, and Mitchell will come in for Martin. We talked about uh, Damian Martin, how good his core vision is. A rare miscue from him. Happens to the best of them. That's for sure. Well, when you're up 20, you can afford you can afford to make a couple mistakes. Estrella stops and pops for three, and it's good. I don't know if Coach Rob Delu thinks that because Marcus Mitchell is now in for Damian Martin. Around the perimeter. Cross court pass. Pope drives to the basket. Wimbush drew a double team. Kicks it over to Vega. Way in the corner. No good. Going back the other way. Around the back pass. Beautiful. Lays it up and. Couldn't get it to go, but number four, DJ Greenhow will go to the line. What a beautiful pass by Emir Elagos on the break there, around the back. BCC calls a timeout. BCC calls a timeout. Northern Essex. Northern Essex is a good team. You let them hang around a little bit. That they can make this a contest. So 58 to 30, 55 to 38, 17 42 left to play here in the second half. So, Craig, it's been an excellent start from, from the Bayhawks yet this far. That it has been, you know, doing good from both ends of it. And they have two more games before they go to the Christmas break. And then, um, then they'll start it back up in January, January 11th. Yep, got basically a month off. Yeah, exactly. And then they'll, and then they'll have some outside, outside of Region 21 uh, basketball. They'll be, they'll be playing against Sullivan County Community College. 
at home. And then Genesee Community College as part of the CCRI Invitational. So uh, Rob Del Lu talked to him and he said he's, he's scheduled some out-of-conference games against some tough teams. And, um, you know, he wants his Bayhawks to be battle-tested. He felt like that was something that last year that they weren't. They weren't battle-tested enough. And when it came down to the nitty-gritty and crunch time last year in postseason play, they dropped the ball a little bit. This year, this team has a different feel to it. It seems like they have a lot more mental toughness and just uh, stronger in a lot of areas that they were weaker last year as, as for the post play. That's for sure. Yeah. Free throws are dropped both in. It's only a 15-point game. That's it. It was a 20-point game. Green swings it around the perimeter. Driving, using his body as Pope, and he's going to travel. Looks like he got stuck underneath there. Or appeared that someone might have got, the hand, got, got their hand on the ball, but either way, it's a travel. Picking up man is BCC with the basketball. Northern Essex driving, cutting into the lane. And they're going to call a foul. That might be on Quincy Pope again, or... I think it was on Mitchell. Yeah, it was Mitchell. It's going to be Mitchell's at least his third of the game. Inbounding. In the corner for three. Off the side of the rim. Estrella with the rebound. Cardona for three. Northern X to not buy a three-pointer this game. They cannot buy a three. They should probably stop shooting. Going all the way, coast to coast. Can't lay it in as Pope. Push it back the other way. Oh, nice fake. And puts it up with the left hand and in. Emir Ella goes. Boy, he's a magician with the basketball. He had Greenhall wide open from outside the arc, but with the way Northern X has been shooting, it's a good thing he didn't he, pass it to him. He faked it to the outside, then went up with his left hand. It was a beautiful. Winbush back out. Around the perimeter. Cross court pass. Eight on the shot clock. And there's a turnover. Actually, they're going to say it's out on Adam Goldstein. But Northern Essex is forcing, is forcing BCC to, um, to play deep into their shot clock there. Yeah, the shot clock was winding down. Mitchell, I don't think he thought that he had a play, so what he did, he just tossed it off of Goldstein's foot to roll out of bounds, reset the clock, at least bring it back up to 20. And get a chance to throw it underneath his own basket. BCC does get it in. Oh, that ball almost stolen. Cardona always hustling. Corey Green swings it. So getting inside. Northern. Vega. Winbush gets it down to Vega, and that'll stop the bleeding. Winbush, such a good passer from the outside there. Josh Winbush with a pass to Vega, gets the assist. Two points for Vega. Driving, Ella goes at the free throw line, kicks it back out, Goldstein for three, takes it. Whoa. Mitchell doesn't Mitchell have Mitchell versus numbers. everybody. Yeah, Mitchell versus everybody. Mitchell couldn't connect. Cardona pulls up from the free throw line. Air ball. Boy, BCC struggling on the boards right now. They're giving Northern Essex too many, too many chances. That they are, and they're causing a lot of fouls. There's another foul this one I think is on. This one is on Zachary Vega. BCC causing a lot of fouls. They got quick three, they got a quick three team fouls. Like you said, Vega, they got four team fouls, Greg. Cardona catches on the baseline, goes up. And, and there's another he'll, one. He'll go to the line for two. BCC can't stop fouling on the other on, on their end. And this one's on Corey Green. I don't believe Corey Green's caused too many fouls in this game. Yeah, I think that's only his first, fifth team foul of the fifth, half. Fifth team foul there, two fouls away from the bonus. Cardona sinks the first free throw. We're and just five minutes into the quarter, or the half. Not even. Boy, if Northern Essex could hit their free throws or from the outside, this game would be a lot tighter. Still, they are bringing it back to an only 11-point game. They'll dump it into Winbush. Nice tap pass to Vega. Rebounded by Winbush. Gets it to roll in. 
I think it's Winbush time. You got winning time, and then it's Winbush time. BCC was at its best early on in the first half when Josh Winbush was establishing himself inside. Yep, already, Winbush has a double double 11 rebounds, 25 points. Yeah, he's been huge. Rob Dale Lou says when he gives maximum effort, when, he, when he's not being lazy, he can be a really great player. Nice crossover, getting into the paint. Lost control of it. Nice pass by Cardona, gets it to number 20, Adam Goldstein. Nice pass. Well, Quincy Pope gets the steal. Actually, no, they just had possession. Looked like he, looked like he stole it. Vega going baseline, and he's going to get fouled. Should be going to the line, and I don't think he is. They're going to say it's before the shot. First team foul on Northern Essex. Don't let them get anything at the rim. <laughs> this is far from over, Craig. 59 to 48. Far from over. Going into the game of Steven Torres going out. Zachary Vega. Northern X is calling a timeout. Craig. 15, under 50, just a little bit under 15 minutes left to play this game. Far from over, Northern Essex making a little bit of a run at it. Yeah, they've really turned it up on defense too. Remember uh, a couple possessions ago, BCC had a really long point. They had really good passing on, but Northern Essex were on them all the way. You know, BCC was able to score on the possession, but again, very tight defense from the Knights. And uh, the Knights on a 15 to four run, it was 53 to 33 at the half. They've remembered very early so the game, it's 26 to, to nine. Run. Yeah, 15 to six run. BCC still has the lead. We'll be right back after this. camera. I do. Game back on. Steven Torres with the ball. Catch the ball at the elbow. Pope. That's Mitchell for three. Falling away. No good. Cardona. Little stutter step. Lost the ball and mid I think it's going to go off green. And it, it is. is. Northern Essex trying to cut this to single digits. Ella goes, pulls up from the elbow, the three-point line, no good. Mitchell with the rebound. Here's Wimbush. Wimbush gets it to a cutting. Pope going to the basket, lays it up with his left hand. Caleb oh, nice pass from Cardona to Goldstein. What a bullet pass. BCC's letting up. Looks like they maybe lack a little bit of focus here. Quincy Pope lucky to come up with that. Almost got stolen. Torres can't get it to go. Let's see how, you know, we talked about mental toughness, and that's something that the New England Patriots have always preached over the years. You know, BCC has been blowing out opponents left and right in this young season. Let's see what happens when there's a little bit of pushback. Right now, there's a lot of time left. You still have a good, decent lead. But let's see their, what their mental focus is like, if they can keep playing the way that they were playing before, you know, that, that allowed them to attain such, a earlier, such a big lead earlier. They'll jump it into Winbush. And that ball is going to be, it's going to be a foul. Yeah, 
And it's going to be on Eddie Cardona, so Josh Wimbush with the chance to go to the line, get two points. That's only the first on Cardona, so. Yeah, Northern X has significantly less fouls than the Bayhawks. Well, right now they're up to four. And Wimbush will connect. I told you, Craig, he's going to end up with 40. Right now he's up to 26, the chance for 27. And he'll sink it. A lot of time left. Under 14 minutes to play, 63 to 50. Here's Gooney. And Provitt trying to stay all over him. Gooney with the little with the little man bun, Cardona. Stutter step, gets in there, squeezes in there and scores. Wow, Cardo Cardona. You almost saying your own name. Yeah. Here's Provitt. Driving and dishing is Provitt, but he gets it stolen. Ends up at Cardona's hands, round the back. Boy, he can trip. The way oh, that he nice dribbles. pass. Yes, to Goldstein for three off the side of the rim. More second chances. Goldstein goes up strong. Boy, they're lucky they didn't hit there. Mitchell going through the defense, kicks it over to, to Provitt. Nice stop to use his body. Puts it up off the glass and in, sticks with it. Good job by Caleb Provitt. Great effort there. 65 to 52. Way to stick with it. I think they're calling a foul on Torres right away. Yep. Torres reaching in a little too far. I'll tell you what, number 23, Caleb Provin, he's got game. He's quick too. He showed me something on that last, on that last possession. Cardona crossing over, pulls up, drops it in. Boy, Cardona having a great game. That he is putting up some serious numbers right now. Mitchell. That was a nice save by Torres over there. Again, they'll dump it in. Windboys puts it up and in. From the pass from Mitchell, Joshua Windbush. How did he put that in? He looked like he was way off balance. Looked like he had his back to the basket almost too, kind of sideways or backwards or something, and he still managed to put that ball in the hole. He just knew. He just, he just knew where to put it. He's like, this is the basket. I'm going to score right now. Yeah, he definitely wasn't square up with the basket on that one. That was a hell of a play by Winbush. Oh. And he'll miss that. Had a chance for 30. 67 to 54. Three-point shot, Estella trades it home, and it's a 10-point lead. Don't go away. Estella from the top. This is the closest that the Knights have been since the opening minutes. Provitt goes into the lane. The little pull-up from Pope. That's his shot right there. He can nail that little shot right there. Little 13 or 15-footer in the paint. That was a good response there by BCC. Cardona gets into the lane. He's going to go to the line. Another foul. Pope. I'll tell you what, these refs can't see. If he's not going to the line, he is shooting two. Damian Martin gets his fourth foul. Corey Green's going to be coming in for him. Zachary Vega is going to be taking someone out. Kayla Provitt is out, out as well. It's good that Zachary Vega has been moving pretty well ever since the, that hard bump he took in the first half. Yeah, that was a, that was a hell of a bump. And he, and he, like I said, he tied me landing a tailbone. It's not a fun day. The interesting tile choice, too. He's rocking the one uh, leg sleeve. Yeah, he's been doing that. Oh, punched away by Cardona. God, he's a pest. Cardona's one of those guys that just, he just aggravates you. Talking about Eddie Cardona. And he almost made a good play. He was trying, well, he did make a good play, but he uh, stepped out of bounds. He tried throwing it off Josh Wimbush's leg to keep the ball, but just stepped too far out of bounds. But he's been crazy for this team. Green for three, nice rotation and beautiful. CG. Up ahead, nice pass from Cardona to Estrella. They'll have to kick it back out. 
Cardona looking to drive. Gets up, puts it above the glass. And it's gonna be on Corey Green. They can't cover Cardona. I'm gonna have to say that right now, Cardona's doing what he wants to do with the basketball. And whenever he wants to drive, he is going to the line. Yes, he is looking to go to the basket. He's being aggressive. He's getting fouled. Doesn't get his shot blocked either. He's put on some crazy shots that don't even know how they go in. Yeah, I know. 72 to 59, a lot of time left to play. This one far from over, folks. If you're just tuning in, BCC had a 53 to 33 lead, a 20 point lead at the half, and it's now 72 to 60. Cross court pass. That's a deep three by MM3. That is about as smooth as a three point shot you will see. Yeah, he hit that with the ease, crossing over, spinning in the lane, puts it up, no good, tipped. Rebounded by Vega. Vega gets it knocked away by Cardona. And they're going to say it's off him. Oh, wow. It is off Vega. Nice job by Cardona coming back and knocking that off, off Vega's leg. Cardona has been this Knights team throughout this half and really throughout this game. Ella goes, driving to the lane, puts it up and in over Winbush. Winbush was there, couldn't block it. And Northern Essex staying in there, they will not go away. They are being pest right now. Mitchell for three, no good. Here comes Estrella. Estrella, stutter step, back out. Cardona, Curry style, no good. Way off. That was a deep three. Corey Green, CG, three! Counted in one. Corey Green for three. You talk about Josh Wimbush all game, Corey Green is nothing to talk down about either. 20 points now. Say again? Corey Green, we talked about, <laughs> we talked about, you talk about Josh Wimbush throughout this game, Corey Green has now put up 20 points in this game as well, so he's really heating up. And that's like what, that must be his third three? Third or fourth, that's about his third three right now? That's his fourth. That's his fourth, I knew it was three or four. Corey Green. He could score in bunches, and, and BCC just like that, 78 to 62. Yeah, right now. Back to back threes there, Mitchell and Green. Yeah, right now, Josh Wimbush leading with 29 points, Corey Green right behind him with 20, then Quincy Pope with 10. Quincy Pope also has six assists on the game. Josh Wimbush, as expected, leading in rebounds, 12 on the game. 12 rebounds, 29 points, and not to mention his defense and the way that he's just a presence on the defensive end. You can't deny that. So 78 to 62, 10.09 left to play. We're going to take a break. You're on FRC Media. You're watching Bayhawks basketball. Welcome back, everybody, to Bishop Conley High School. LaFrance Gymnasium, home of the Bristol Community College Bayhawks, right next door to the Bristol Community College campus. BCC up 79 as Corey Green hits that. He completes a four-point play. If you're just joining us now, Corey Green has hit a three, was fouled in the act of shooting, and just nailed a free throw. So BCC up 17. BCC with a double team. Pope and Mitchell all over the basketball. Deep three. Can't get it to go. They haven't been able to do that all game. Yeah, Greenhall missed that, yeah. 
Vega dishes it to Winbush, puts it up and in. He's got 31. Joshua Winbush. Another <laughs> foul, and I think Corey Green knows that it's on him. Oh, man. I love it every time Corey, every time Corey Green commits a foul. Like, oh, He's like, man. oh, come on, man. Oh, man. Cardona's first free throw, good. And one thing I give... Um, Northern Essex Freddy, because they're not scared to go to the basket. They go strong to the basket. They don't care if Joshua Wimbush is there, Zachary Vega, whoever's there, Quincy Pope. They're going strong to the basket. They just don't care. I want to see how many points Eddie Cardona has in this game. I know. Here's Vega pulling, I mean Green, pulling it out. You should just do the LaMelo ball half-court shot. Yeah. 14 on the shot clock. How quick, six with some good D. How quickly do you think he'd get benched if he just did that? Oh, jeez. Going into the lane, putting about the glass, and in. You gotta count it. Oh, no, they're man. not. It was a miracle shot, an oh, amazing effort, man. just waved off by the refs. I don't like it. You gotta, you gotta count that. He's gonna go to the line, try to get just as many, but even then, gotta count that shot. It was on the floor, but he had the, he had the wherewithal to put that shot up as he was getting fouled. And it was beautiful. And he'll drain the first free throw. Good job, CG. CG having a heck of a game here tonight. And he'll drain both free throws. BCC looking to get up to their best there. They're off to their best start in team history. Pretty sure of it. 83 to 64. Driving to the lane. Getting it blocked is Winbush. Winbush throwing Greenhaw's stuff. Oh, nice pass to Mitchell. To, uh, to, to Pope. Losing it. Going the other way. Estrella going all the way to the rack. Lays it in. Winbush trailing the play. Couldn't get there. Good hustle, though. 8.30 to go. Corey Green calling a play. Corey Green calling the play. Vega coming high. Green, stutter step. Shot clock's winding down. Green driving to his left. Five on the shot clock. Wimbush going in. Can't get it to go. Oh. Wimbush trying to keep it alive. It's going to go off him, though. And it's going to be Knights basketball. Here on a thirsty Thursday night. And ladies and gentlemen, if you missed it today on bccradio.org, it was a debut of the new Dirty Water Sports Hour with myself, Dave Cardoza, and the Portuguese cowboy over here, Craig Salvador. Driving, dishing, back up to Cardona for three. Air ball, scooped up. Scooped up by number four, DJ Greenshaw, and he'll get fouled by Winbush. And he'll go to the line for two. Foul goes Quincy Pope instead. That's going to be his fourth. Eight minutes remaining. Quincy Pope and four fouls. He's going to see Juan Espinal replacing him. Juan Espinal. The number one Juan Espinal. 83-67. <laughs> As I was saying before. The dirty water, look for the Dirty Water Sports Hour on your local on your local listings on FR Media as our show starts. Only gets better from after the first one. <laughs> That's for sure. Had some radio problems today, a couple spills, but anyway. Both metaphorical for, and actual. Yeah, look for the Dirty Water Sports Hour on bccradio.org Thursdays at 4 p.m. And also check your local listings for the simulcast here on FR Media in the future. Mitchell for the deep three, no good. Nice rebound by Espinol, offensive rebound, giving BCC a new shot clock.
Rob Delu directed traffic from the sideline. They'll dump it in. Drawing the double team is Winbush. Winbush finds the open man. And the shot clock winds down, and BCC will turn the ball over. And it'll be Northern Essex basketball. And Marcus Mitchell tried to pass. I think he should have tried to put it up and shoot it. Greenhoff a three. BCC. As well as they played on the defensive end, they're allowing Northern Essex to get a lot of second chances. Second and third chances. They're just lucky that Northern Essex hasn't been able to capitalize on any of them. Or a lot of them. Draining that home is number 20. And throughout this game, it seems Mr. like Goldstein. It seems like BCC's fouling more than usual. That's for sure. Both free throws made by Goldstein, and it's a 13-point lead. So with seven minutes to play, referee's going to call a referee timeout here. Seven minutes to play. Mr. Cowboy, 83, 83 to 70. This one still, you know, this one um, is uh, still a game right now. 83 to 70, Northern Essex staying around just enough with seven minutes to play. And we're going to take a break here on FRC Media. It's Bayhawks basketball, BCC up 83 to 70 over Northern Essex. So mad earlier. What? I was getting frustrated. I was the only one who was caring about what was happening. Yeah, you weren't. I was too. I said, Lucy's. Just, I don't know. Let's just go. Let's just go in the air. Who cares? And then yeah. And she's like, like effing shit up. Like. Let's go one to three fifty nine. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, back to Bishop Conley, LaFrance Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts, home of Battleship Cove, home of the Braga Bridge. Home of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Here comes Corey Green. Fifteen on the shot clock. The LU for the slam to Winbush. Oh, you can just call him the Bayhawks player of the game now. Going to the rack is Greenhall on the other end. Kind of stymies that. Two for two. As loud as Winbush's dunk was, only two points. So it's still a 13 point lead. Green loses it. And here comes Greenhall. Out to Cardona. Cardona using his body. Puts it up. Ooh. Almost came away and made that. Mitchell. Going all the way, all by himself. One man fast break, can't get it to go. Essex pushing it the other way. The, lay, the lob, oh, and the block, oh, the lay-in. What a, what, a, what a sequence. Gooney laid it in. Jeez, what game are we watching now? This has been very exciting. Wow. It's going right away. Yeah, exactly. Under six minutes to play. Espinol back out. Vega back out to Espinel for three. Off the side of the rim, no good. No good, you could tell Rob Delu that wasn't the shot that he wanted. Even though he was wide open, but. Right now, 11 point lead, getting dicey. Three, three points, three. Oh, and he sinks it. And finally, Northern Essex hits an outside shot. And just like that, it's an eight point lead after being up 
by 20 points. Unbelievable. Five minutes and 30 seconds to play. A lot of time left. Timeout on the floor for Rob Del Lou and BCC. And you can tell the frustration there. He's going to calm the troops down. 85 to 77. Five and a half minutes to play, Craig. Craig, what's going on? He's, I tell you, the Knights, they've been shooting horribly from the arc, and Eddie Cardona from Curryland just sinks a three, and they are now within 10 points for the first time in this game. You and know, the thing really ever since this quarter, or this half started, the Knights, they've been playing a lot better defense. They've been playing a lot tighter defense, a lot faster pace. And again, Eddie Cardona has just been doing everything from both ends of it. He's been their best player. He's been their rock. They, he has been everything for this Knights team. And he is what's inching this team closer and closer to tying this game. They've hung around just enough, just enough. They didn't allow this thing to become a debacle. They, you know, they didn't allow this thing to become a total debauchery. You know, and they hung around just enough. They haven't shot well, but sometimes it's all about timely shooting, and that was a timely shot there. So we'll see what happens. They go to the full court press. We've seen them with a zone defense Joe. majority through the game. Yep. Mitchell gives it to Wimbush up top. Shot clock winding down. Mitchell steps back, jump shot. No good. Loose ball, rebounded by Espinal. Wimbush, go in. Give it to Wimbush. You gotta give it to Wimbush right now. Right now you gotta go to your go-to guy, give it to Wimbush, six foot seven, long and strong, baby. Because right now, right now it seems like BCC's thinking too much about what they're doing and kind of playing not to lose or kind of tightening up right now a little bit. That's why I said it's all about mental focus right now. Mental toughness. 20 on the shot clock. Vega, pull back jumper, no good. Losing that out of bounds. Oh, I thought that was off. I think he was out of bounds. Referee doesn't call it. Here's Cardona crossing over. Kicks it back out. Goldstein for three. Rolls out. Boy, that would have been a big shot. And that's going to roll out of bounds. No, maybe. This is an injury, I think, to Cardona. And if this is something serious, this is detrimental to the Knights. Hope not. Hate to see him go out like that or the Knights go out like that. They could just a little shake it up. He appears to be walking okay. Yeah, Might be his wrist. Yeah, he's fine. He's kind of shaking that left wrist of his. And there's going to be a timeout on the floor. Not sure by who we get a timeout on the floor. 85 to 77. Four minutes and 34 seconds left to play. Don't you turn that dial. Controversy. Welcome back, everybody. 85-77, you're watching Bayhawks basketball. Here on Channel 95, you're dial, FRC Media. Broadcasting in Fall River and your surrounding local areas. We have a little, we have a little uh, something going on in the court. They don't know exactly what right now. I think they're saying that since they called the timeout, Eddie Cardona has to be subbed out. So we have a little substitute issue going on right now. And the ref's trying to talk about it. It's going to be whether or not Cardona stays in this game right now. I swear we get one of these a game, but 85-77. And that's exactly what's happening. I guess we'll keep it right here. Northern Essex has roared back. They've scored 44 points in this half. Now they're going to be doing this without Cardona for now, but he's sitting, looking like he's getting ready to get subbed back in as soon as possible. 
BCC needs to just do what they do and play their game right now. Corey Green's going to do his thing, or you get to get the ball to Zachary Vega or Josh Winbush. Get the ball going to the rim. You're going to get fouled, get to the line. Still maintain being aggressive. 85-77, 4.18 to play. Damian Martin will come in, and also Quincy Pope will come in for Juan Espinal. And it looks like Marcus Mitchell's going to go also. Damian Martin coming in. Damian Martin got his second start today in as many games. Wimbush in the corner. Looking to back him in. Looking to back Green Ball, Green Hall in. Shot clock Green running shot down. Clock. Green looking to pop for three. Pops out. Oh, man. That thing was halfway down and popped out. Tough break for Green. Had the shot that he wanted. And it's going to be a travel by Green Hall. That's a big turnover there by, by Northern Essex. Eight-point game with four minutes left. Wimbush gets it, gets it to his former teammate. We're going in to the hole and Pope. When I, when I say former teammate, former high school teammate. Still currently play on the same team, just and a different team. Teammates. Teammates still. Teammates for life. I was just going to say that. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Beat you to it. Um... So Quincy Pope, I'm sorry, Zachary Vega. No, you're right. No, Quincy Pope. Well, they, they look the same. Got similar hairstyles. Zachary Vega might have an inch or two on Pope. Yeah, he does. That's the thing. And the one-legged uh, tidy whiteys over there. That's a big free throw there, putting him up by nine. Can make it ten here, just under four minutes to play. Pope also wears the short sleeve shirt. Zachary Vega shows off the tats. <laughs> I love that. I love the break. I love the wardrobe breakdown <laughs> by the cowboy. Jeez Louise. You started it. You're so observant. Going all the way, Estrella. Stripped and in. Corey Green is. Uh, and Corey Green doesn't like it. He's getting animated. Yeah, he gets emotional when he commits a foul. That is his fourth. Corey Green got that old school throw. It's just all, but it's just all like all over the place. Estrella will sink the first one. Again, less than ten. And Cardona back out there for Northern Essex. Number three, sinking both free throws. Estrella, big free throws. Corey Green staying in the game with four fouls. Losing the basketball is Martin Ray turnover. Estrella back out to Cardona. Bounce pass and knocked away by Martin. And they're going to say that he stepped out. Good hustle. The Knights really do get it going to the basket. It's going to be a new shot clock. 30 seconds on the shot clock. They're watching Regional 21 play. NJCAA, Region 21. These two teams in the first of a couple meetings this year. Loose ball. Coming under the break. Vega to Pulp. Comes up. Hit lay it in. Missing. Windbush will put it in. Clean up the straps. And that's big. Up by 10. Big basket by Winbush. BCC looking to hold on here. And they're gonna call, they're gonna call a carry. And that's a big turnover. Northern Essex can't, have, they can't afford, they can't afford silly turnovers right now with the, the clock running out on them. Damian Martin will go out, Marcus Mitchell in. Out there with, ooh, stolen by Cardona, and then he put it off green, and it's going Knight's way. What a heads-up play by Cardona. That kid, he's a heads-up player. And Damian Martin coming in for Marcus Mitchell. So really, Mitchell just in for that one play. 
playing offense, defense. I think maybe just to see if, make sure Martin doesn't get fouled, because I think he's in foul trouble. That's what I mean, they're putting him in on offense. Oh, Corey Green almost got a steal. Cardona kicks it back out for three. Greenhall, no good. Rebounded by Pope. Winbush finds Viega, lays it in. The assist by Winbush. And a great recovery after he stumbled a little bit. Yeah, and a good job to turn around and find Vega and eat the basket before the defenders could get there. And if that foul is on, I think that's on Martin and Cardona with Did a magic trick getting around everyone. Did that go in? It's, Holy crap. And it did go in. He is going to the line. So they are probably going to count the basket. Damian Martin has his fifth foul. He's going to be out of this game. Well, Craig, the, the writing was on the wall there for Damian Martin. He started off with two quick fouls, if you remember. We talked about that. And now he's out of the game. Good thing about that is for BCC, they get a deep team. They get some guys that can interchange. Yep. Next man up. It's going to be Marcus Mitchell coming back in. He himself, I believe, has three or four. That's all right, though. And had a couple big threes. Cardona completes the old-fashioned three-point play. And Northern Essex will get a timeout here. 30-second timeout, 91 to 82. Two minutes and 40 seconds left to play in this game, in here in regulation. You're watching Bayhawks basketball here on FRC Media. All right, welcome back to Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River. You're watching BCC basketball, 91 to 82. Going ahead. Green, that was a risky pass. Vega going to the hole, went for the slam, and missed another dunk. That's a missed dunk. You're going to call that one a missed dunk or a missed yeah. lay-in? <laughs> he went for the dunk, but he, he missed. He does get fouled, so give it a contested dunk, you know? One day he's going to cock it back and just jam it down the hole. <laughs> I tell him he's going to do it one day. I don't. We've seen him dunk before. But this has to be the record streak for a missed consecutive dunks, dating back to last game. He's on a roll. Not on a roll. Both, both free throws made. Such free throws, putting him up 11, two and a half minutes to play. Northern Essex running out of possessions. They'll go inside. Fall away jumper by Goldstein. Won't fall. Oh, Green. What a pass. Push, the slam. The jam. Good night. What a job by Corey Green catching that in the air. Catch and pass right to Winbush. Wide open. Slamming it down. Good night, everybody. Joshua Winbush closing the... Closing the book on the Knights, driving to the hole. That ball tipped away. Here comes MM3. Over to CG. To a cutting Winbush. Oh, another come on jam! Cock it back and slam it down, Josh Winbush. You win with Winbush. The Bayhawks player of the game. Good night. Josh Winbush on a made dunk streak. He could teach Zachary Vega something about that. Hmm. <laughs> Causing trouble. But that's how you jam. No doubt about it. 
No one's going to block it. I'm not going to miss it. I don't have to. I'm not like uh, in the mid-decision whether I'm going to lay it in or dunk it. He just buried it. Well, the next still playing hard defense. We've got 90 seconds left. Up oh, here's Vega. <laughs> I'm not even going to count that as a missed dunk. Quincy Pope there to lay it in, though. I, I would have dunked it by now. And BCC in the corner, Estrella drains it home. Down 12. But BCC looks like they had this one wrapped up. Green gets fouled by Estrella. Looks like he flopped, too. Looked like he really acted that one out. Estrella with some ugly shoes, like lavender. You always hit on the lavender shoes. I like it. It's like a lavender. It's not even, I hate, well, I hate purple to begin with, but that's like lavender. And Bruh, purple is the best color. It is the absolute ugliest. I will worst fight you color. on this. <laughs> I'll put the phenomenal one. See that table down there? Mm hmm. Yeah, a phenomenal forearm. You threw it. <laughs> We'll do that top rope 450 splash. Oh, that's bad. If you could do that. Cardona looking to push all by himself. Tried to go over Winbush, but that's a block by him. Another block by Winbush. Boy, he's been all over the place. What an amazing game by Josh Winbush. And I mean, he's like, he's. You look at, you look at his stat sheet but at the end, it, he just makes it look so effortless. He, he took some time off in the middle of this game, too where he just decided not to do much, and then here he comes again. Mitchell, swoop it to the hoop. Gets it blocked, but he's going to get fouled by Adam Goldstein. So Northern Essex, Craig, they made it a game, 101 to 87. They got in as close as eight, but they never quite got closer. They didn't get closer than 85 to 77. That was, that was as close as they got was eight points. Yeah, they started bringing it back, and then once again, BCC just turned it up on offense, and yeah, that was it. Good night, really. Yeah, they put up a yeah, they put the wall up. Mitchell's trying to <laughs> Mitchell's trying to get Mitchell trying to get too cute. The bench is really letting him know it. Yeah, exactly. Like, what is wrong with you? Just, has he done that before? Has he put it around the back before? I don't know. He's just having He's fun. He's just showing up. MM3. Cardona crossing over. Going up against the trees and lays it in. Looking like IT. In seconds, they're just going to hold the ball. Yep. Corey Green will dribble out the string. And while he's doing that, and it's all zeros on the clock, the buzzer goes off. Your Bristol Community College Bayhawks are 10-0. They are 10 and 0, 10 straight. As the two teams will shake hands here, signs of great sportsmanship. And what a game, 102, 102 points, 102 to 89. BCC is a winner. And uh, Bristol Community College will play again this Saturday at Quincy and the next Tuesday, be looking for this game on your local dial when they face Bunker Hill Community College, the Bulldogs. The defending Region 21 champions, actually, not the not the defending Region 21 champions. Region, from two years ago, they are. Last year was Mass Bay, right? So, um, anyways, um, the Bayhawks player of the game is no doubt about it. Tell tell us a stat line because it's really impressive. Joshua Winbush was a stud today. Yeah, you called a 40 point. You called he was going to drop 40 in this game. He actually dropped 39. Oh. <laughs> he was so close. So Josh Wimbush dropping 39 points today along with 15 rebounds and then four assists. So, of course, Josh Wimbush, he is going to end up being our Bayhawks player of the game. We're sounding like a broken record because we give it to him so much. But a stat line like this, come well, on. Last game we gave it to Zachary Vega. We Zachary did. Zachary Vega was the leading scorer. He had eight rebounds. Like he, I mean, he hit some he hit some threes. I mean, he, he, he made some impact points. But this game, from top to finish, Josh Wimbush came out of the gate, scored 12 of the first 16 points um, of the game. And just kept it. I mean, just kept it going. When 
when it came down when it came down to it at the end, when Northern Essex was making that run, who was the guy that stepped up and and allowed for BCC to really pull away? It was Joshua Winbush with his defense. On the other end, scoring, Duncan, he was the go-to guy. Well, Josh Winbush is our Bayhawks player of the game. Definitely well-deserved. All right, so from myself, Mr. Cardoza alongside me, the phenomenal Portuguese cowboy. Thanks for watching Bayhawks basketball here on FRC Media. The Bayhawks are 10-0. and be looking, be looking for this game and for future games on your local listings here on FRC Media. Good night, everybody. <laughs>